hello my loves welcome back to my channel welcome to this long overdue long asked for sit down video so the name is Balisa M and I am a South African youtuber I do lifestyle vlogs relaxed hair content and skincare as well and a bit of everything in between so don't mind that don't mind this don't mind the flowers, don't mind the drink. It is the night before my birthday and I am on a contentcation, on a you know staycation type of situation for my birthday. And I thought, well, since I can't sleep, <laughs> might as well just put the makeup, put the pajamas, get into this and you know, do the video and get it out of the way. I've been away for a while now, so I think we're long overdue for a life update. But I think also I'm going to put this together with some reflection, introspection, and just well wishes and things I want for my next year, which is 34. I'm turning 34 tomorrow, which is the 22nd of July. And yeah, man, I'm in a good space. I am in a state of i don't know hopefulness i think for the longest time i've been feeling you know doubtful and i've been very doubtful of myself and my abilities and things so me being in this room with the balloons with the cake like you guys will see the content but me having done what i did today just proved to me that i am a content creator and my work doesn't have to look like anybody else's work you know um, I just have to be myself and if I want to be extra it's okay to be extra because I've realized that I kind of fear being extra I am OTT in certain aspects and I shy away from that because it's kind of embarrassing like you am I doing too much I ask myself that question a lot like am I doing too much you know it's okay to do too much sometimes you know like it's okay to be too much you know um, I am the girl who goes to work with a full face beat and a laid down wig and 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 you know and it, that's okay honestly speaking so I'm in a state of acceptance and I'm in a state of relearning the things I like what I don't like and I'm in the space of learning to open up to the unknown because I'm a control freak and I prefer having control over everything so I'm learning to just be, you know, to accept anything and anything the way it is and go with the flow. So I put up a post on my YouTube and I asked for some questions that I could answer. Um, some of you did send questions in, so we're going to be answering some of that. Sinan Kosi says, I would like to know what you studied for and if you're working in that sector. I would also like to know your savings tips in order to not find yourself broke. <laughs> well, Sinan Kosi, I studied a BCom in internal auditing at the University of Pretoria and I am working as an internal auditor for a government department in the Free State. So yes, I am working in that sector. I'm um, currently in a space of craving change when it comes to my career so I'm you know thinking about it praying about it and seeking guidance in that aspect I feel like I've served to where I am and it might be like time to move into something different or move into a completely different department or a company or whatever but yeah that's that's kind of where I am at the moment you know I feel like I am no longer adding value where I am or you know I don't want to say feeling unappreciated because I don't want to place I don't want to place my value or my personal feelings on what the next person is doing you know mine is to add value mine is to make a difference yes that's what I was looking for I don't feel like I'm making a difference anymore where I am so it might be time for a change in terms of the saving so let me tell you I am the first born at home, ne? so you know the responsibilities that come with being first born. I am not, not very good with saving, <laughs> I'm not, I'm the type of person who when I have money and there are things that need to be done, I'd rather get those done type of situation. So what I've resorted to is I now 
I now automate my savings. So when my salary comes in, a certain portion of it will automatically be deducted and put into either my savings account or my investment my investment account. And because I have side hustles, um, from my side hustles as well, I've been putting away a certain percentage of that money into an account I can forget. Like the account that you sort of just put money in there and forget about it type of situation. Um, I now want to try saving for the things that I want like I've been wanting an iPad for the longest time and I think I'm going to open a savings pocket for that save money so I can buy the iPad and the pen you know buy it cash instead of taking credit out and stuff but yeah for me what was important was paying off debt you know um, paying off student debt paying off whatever debt you know I am free from the clause of clothing accounts I do not have clothing accounts anymore <laughs> um, it built my credit record I no longer have a use for it so I have stopped using it so I've closed all of them and yeah that that's what I would say automate your savings start small because I feel like we pressure ourselves because you want to save 10,000 rand in one go whether it's 10 rand whether it's a hundred rand whether it's a thousand rand if you get into a cycle of doing it and it becomes a habit that money is going to grow and you're going to start enjoying saving so yeah that that is the tip i would give you with regards to saving i hope that helps <laughs> um Ziander says hi mrs m i love your sit down videos by the way how's work how's juggling your nine to five youtube being a toddler mom and a wife like how do you do it i'm asking for me well Ziander, <laughs> i think this year has proven <laughs> that it's not easy i have been battling to manage all of the things i'm doing um being a working person being a mom being a wife being a youtuber and content creator you know because it's not just youtube for me i've been doing instagram i've been trying out the tiktok and also now with bella amoni which is my business for the hair growth oil it is rife it is such a difficult task to manage but I think what I've learned is that I must listen to my body one. If my body says, girl, you need to slow down or girl, you need to take the weekend off and sleep, I have been doing exactly that. Or if I feel like it's becoming too taxing and I don't want to create, I want to go out and just live life off camera, that is exactly what I've been doing. That is why I have been battling with the consistency. And I think it gets to a point where you're now looking at the money and you're chasing figures i lost my love for creating youtube videos and connecting with you guys on this platform because at some point because now it's become a trend everybody's sharing how much i made this month on youtube you know and it's a trending thing so if you happen to watch those videos and you're like a small creator or whatever you might start feeling like eh, i'm not working or why is my work not performing or you know type of situation and that's normal to feel like that but what i don't want is the the self bashing and the creating out of the pressure because you want to increase um the the monetary value that you're earning every month you know so now i create for leisure i create what i enjoy you know and i create when i can when i can't create then i have had to learn to say listen this weekend i couldn't create because x y and z you know and yeah that's that's been very that's been very freeing for me i think yes my numbers have taken a knock and everything but it will it will it will come back when i get back to being consistent and whatever things are going to go back to normal and it's going to be okay because it's umpo, umpo says Hey Bali, I would love to know how you're doing mentally and how's your fitness or health journey going. Hey Paul, I'm well my darling. So with regards to my mental health, I am in a good space, right? Um, you guys would know I had started therapy and I was seeing a psychologist and stuff. Still continuing with that. It's just that now I'm not seeing that person on as frequent a basis as I was in the past, you know. Um, I've got into a space where I will go seen my psychologist and we will talk about things and she will give me the tools and things to equip myself to live so now i'm testing out that you know um i'm learning all these things in therapy i am now implementing these things in my life it's not easy 
It's not because most of the things that I've been learning have been about boundaries. And when you start setting boundaries, people start, you know, people start acting otherwise because they liked you better when you didn't have boundaries, right? So I have boundaries now and I enforce my boundaries, best believe, you know. Um, I'm very... I'm very hard on the protecting myself and taking care of myself first before taking care of other people and yeah it's lost me a lot of friends and stuff and whatnot and it's kind of made me seem a lot more hardcore than I actually am but I'm glad I did it because it's come with so much peace and healing for me so yeah mental health wise we're doing well the health journey um, I have lost a bit of weight I'm not exercising as yet because of the high stress levels the cortisol levels but after my birthday I am going back to working out I'm going to take it easy lifting light weights doing the walks um, I wanted to commit to doing 10,000 steps a day but for me it doesn't really work because I sit down at work a lot like I work a desk job but I don't know, we'll try, we'll try to figure it out. But after my birthday, I'm going on detox and I'm restarting this thing, you know, um, trying to focus again. But I'm going to be very gentle about it. I don't want to put pressure on myself because it's going to stress me out and that's going to cause me to gain unnecessary weight again. So yeah, that is where we are currently. <laughs> Clarissa said, girl, you look good. Thank you, Clarissa. Where's the question, girl? This one comes from Fantastic Finds and she says, what concealer and foundation do you use? I use the Maybelline Skin Tint Foundation with Vitamin C. I'm in the shade 60, which is caramel. My concealer changes from time to time. So the concealers I have on the rotation are the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and the Umutla Cosmetics um, Concealer in the shade... I think it's spice yes spice those are the two concealers i alternate between it says hey mama i'd like to know how and where did you meet hubby so i have a video on how i met my husband but i met my husband at the capello in sunnyside pretoria i met him in 2011 so i've known my husband for 13 years now we've been married for five years no not five we've been married for eight years um, but yeah I go into detail that story if you watch the video um, you'll get all the details on that because I go into detail about how I met my husband and I think I answered questions that video was done such a long time ago but yeah I met my husband in 2011 at the Capello in Sunnyside Pretoria Who says Mpile Tuto says, Hey Mama Hosi, I'd like to know what is your biggest lesson you learned since Unyet. So she's saying, What is the biggest lesson I've learned since I've gotten married? The biggest lesson is probably patience. I'm a very impa I was a very impatient person. Like very impatient. Um I wanted things to happen like now, nah, you know. So being married has taught me patience, but I think the one that stands out for me is to be graceful, right? To have grace, you know. Um, a marriage is two imperfect people coming together to try at this life thing. And what I've learned is that, yeah, when, when my husband makes mistakes or if we have a falling out or whatever, I've learned to be graceful, you know. Um, it's very easy to go on the attack and to get mad and to get loud but I've now become such a peaceful person I don't react anymore and I, I, I take time out like sort of sit back and look at it in a different perspective and say okay fine what was my part in this or how could I handle it better or what do I need to do you know for the situation because whether I win an argument or not, it's still a loss. We shouldn't be arguing type of situation. So to be graceful. But I think also I've learned that marriage is between two good forgivers. And I think I have been working on being a good forgiver because girl, 
I know how to hold a grudge, okay? Like, I seriously, seriously know how to hold a grudge. But I have been learning to forgive and to seriously let go of things. Uh, Londi says, Hi sis, I hope you're well. I just want to know how do you balance corporate work and other work on the sides? I'm asking because I'm looking for a side hustle, but my main anxiety is juggling all that at once. Costs of living are tough. Hey mama. So yeah, I know, hey, like this economy is rough and we got to do what we got to do to survive. Please. Um, there isn't really a balance, eh? Um, sometimes I wake up I usually wake up at like 4 in the morning, right? So I'll wake up at 4 and if I've got content to edit and submit, I will have to do it before work. And we get to work at half past 7 every morning. So you can imagine waking up at 4, maybe I'll put in an hour of editing or whatever so I can submit answering emails, you know. Then I go to work and then when I knock off from work, I still have my duties at home. We have a helper who will help out with laundry and cleaning and everything, but I still cook we still cook by ourselves at home we still do our own meals at home and yeah so i'll come home i'll cook um i have to prep lunches for the next day and then i will either do an hour of editing in bed before i sleep or i will be packing orders oil orders and doing courier weighbills and stuff like that but the thing about having a side hustle is you must remember your why why did I start the side hustle? Why Why am I doing this? You know, you have to have a strong why. For you, you're saying cost of living, so it's a financial thing. Um, yeah, when other people are sleeping, we're working. I mean, like right now, I am sitting and I'm filming a video. It's quarter to 11 on Sunday. And I'm here in front of my camera and I'm sitting up. My back is killing me, but I was like... I promised myself consistency and if this is what I need to do then this is what I'm going to do so here we are um, I think those are the questions that I got my 34th birthday one thing I've always wanted to say to the little girl is you are light I have come to realize that in a lot of the spaces that I walk into, in a lot of the lives, like the, a lot of the people that I've met, I've become a light, you know, I've become a sounding board and that just affirms that I have a good head on my shoulders and that I am pretty wise <laughs> for the little girl that I am, you know. Um, I have become very calm. I have now realized how assertive I am. My no means no. And it's okay to say no. Um, I'm a lot of fun, you know, like for me, it's accepting all the things that I didn't like about myself because they were wrong, because I thought they were wrong. They're not wrong, you know, this is who I am. And I'm enjoying being on this journey of learning. So to the little girl, I've always wanted to say this to myself, you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, oh, I, I wasn't expecting that, but you are beautiful inside and out, you are not for everybody, but those you are for will love you as you are unconditionally you are perfect just the way you are and that's that's something i want to tell the younger me you know wishes for the new year travel oh can i please 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 go on my first brand trip can i be flewed out somewhere please by a brand but your yeah, travel as well i've i enjoy travel right i do get anxious in terms of the vlogging and the content creation and stuff but i think i'm coming up with a strategy that sort of works for me but i would love to travel some more with my hubby and my son more solo things like this like a content creation or a staycation i'd like to do more solo things as well but 
some wishes I can't tell you guys. You know, some things are a little bit personal, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm wishing more income. I'm wishing more wisdom. I'm wishing more healing. Wishing more laughter. Um, I'm wishing weight loss. <laughs> I'm wishing um, yeah, a fat bank balance. I'm wishing rest and peacefulness. I'm wishing restoration. I am wishing everything good and abundant, honestly speaking. Um, I'm grateful to God for the opportunity to do what I do and love what I do. I pray God gives me more energy because currently I'm struggling with the energy. I'm always so exhausted. Um, I'm wishing, I'm praying for more discipline because I've been lacking that this year. But I think also I just needed the break, honestly speaking. Like, definitely I just needed the break, you know? Yeah. You know, all good things in abundance. I am praying for the unexpected, you know? We have these thoughts in our minds that this is what I want or this is what I need or whatever from God. But, yeah, praying for the unexpected, good unexpected though. Nothing bad, please God. I don't want to be one of your strongest soldiers. Mm -mm. Um, soft landings, soft life, princess treatment, that is me, you know? But yeah, definitely, man. I am just in awe of the woman that I've become and the woman that I am becoming. It's been a very difficult thing to see unfold, but you know, I look back and I'm very proud of sticking it out and putting in the work to get to where I am. The journey is still long, but it is something I am going to pursue until I feel like, yeah, I did the damn thing, you know? I think that is basically where life is at at the moment. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me so I can get to 10k. I am now on 9,970. So I just need 30 of you guys to follow me on Instagram so I can get to 10k. Pretty please. So you girl can move from being a nano influencer to being a micro, a macro or micro, I don't know, influencer something. But yeah man, um, more work paid. <laughs> um, I think... I want to tap back into teaching. Um, I enjoy being a teacher. I enjoy teaching people how to look good. I enjoy teaching people how to take care of themselves, you know. And if anything, if you ever come across any video or this video on my channel, if anything you learn from me is you are absolutely worth it. You are worth doing that nice thing for yourself you are worth being treated right and being loved you are absolutely worth it so if you come across this channel i hope you rediscover how to love yourself because if you love yourself first then you won't go looking for love in the wrong places you know like when you love yourself it cements a lot of things on the inside and people just won't mess with you type of situation <laughs> i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section um if you enjoyed this video send me your birthday wish although i think by the time <laughs> this video goes up my birthday would have all gone out of the window you know but yeah man i am so grateful Thank you so much for watching. I think I'm gonna go wash my makeup off and go to bed. I'm sleeping in my wig. Um, I didn't bring my wig remover stuff, so yeah. It is 10 to 11. I thought I was gonna stay up until my birthday, but I think I have to because I need to edit some photos that I'm going to post on my actual birthday. So yeah, let me go take my makeup off and I will see you guys in the next one.